If you cut the cord picking up one of the popular streaming services, guess what? Your bill is going up. Netflix increased prices about two weeks ago. Hulu Plus Live TV jacked up the price by $10 a month a few days ago. And Google hiked the price of YouTube TV to $65 a month. The cost of these streaming services have gone up $25 a month over the last couple of years, and cord cutters are not happy about it. Talk to some who say they're going to cut it all out. So how much TV can you get without paying for a streaming service? Probably more than you think. Pluto, Tubi TV, IMDb, the Roku channel are all totally free. Hundreds of TV shows and movies available using a Fire Stick, a Roku, Google Chromecast, or a smart TV. You'll have to sit through commercials, but you're still saving a lot of money. Now, for live TV programming, you must get an antenna if you don't already have one. Depending on where you live, you could get dozens of free channels, including all the major networks, so you won't have to miss your favorite show or even some live sports as long as they're on one of the big four networks. Now, to see your favorite shows on a cable channel like FX and A&E, you could subscribe to Hulu's base service for just $6 a month. Some network shows appear on this tier just a day after they air live. Sports is a big holdup for canceling everything, but if you're an Amazon Prime member, they're broadcasting some live sporting events, and if you have that antenna, you can get live sports on the four big networks. And if you have that antenna, you maybe go with Hulu, cancel everything else, well, you're saving about $700 a year. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.